It is arguably the most recognizable sign of animal contentment, a pleasurable rasp that erupts whenever a cat is tickled or petted, the soundtrack to countless sessions sprawled on an owner's lap. But that's not quite the full story. There is a lot more going on with the cat's purr than you might reasonably expect. Even a how was long a subject of debate. Some thought it was linked to blood flowing to the inferior vena cava, a vein that carries deoxygenated blood to the right side of the heart. But with more research, it seemed likelier that the noise came from the muscles within the cat's larynx. As they move, they dilate and constrict the glottis, the part of the larynx that surrounds the vocal cords, and the air vibrates every time the cat breathes in or out. The result? A purr. Even though science is now fairly sure this is the process, there's no definitive answer as to what triggers the response. The biggest clue is a neural oscillator deep within the cat's brain, one that otherwise has no clear purpose. But if that neural oscillator is triggered, is it just when a cat is happy? Sometimes. But only sometimes. Cats purr. Cats make a purring sound by controlling the airflow as they breathe, using the muscles in their larynx and their diaphragm. Fun fact, domestic cats aren't the only cat species that purr. The bobcat, cheetah, and lynx also purr. Purring starts days after birth. Kittens purr and need when they are suckling, and mama cat might purr then too. This may be one way kittens communicate the need to continue nursing, mom will be able to hear and feel the purr. The kitten is sort of saying, hey, I am still here. Don't move. Or I love this. We don't always know for sure why cats purr or need, or meow. But here are some of the most common reasons why your cat purrs and what he might be trying to tell you. Cats purr to draw you in. Because kittens are born blind and deaf, mama cats use purring to lure their kittens closer in order to keep them safe and get them their first meal. Likewise, purring serves to draw you closer to your cat, by getting your attention. Your cat may purr when he needs a little love, for instance. While you didn't teach your cat to purr, your actions may inspire more frequent purring. If you pay attention to your cat when he purrs, he's likely to repeat the behavior in the future. That reinforcement keeps the behavior strong. Cats purr when they are blissful. Adult cats purr when they are interacting with people, objects, or animals that they love. Or when they are doing something that feels good, such as rolling or rubbing. For instance, your cat may purr when you stroke him. Or she may purr at night when she cuddles up between your feet on the bed. Purring may say your cat needs you. Purring can be an ask for help. Your cat may be hungry or want your attention. Researchers have shown that astute pet parents can tell the difference between their cat's purrs. Meow-like sounds in the purrs are intended to solicit food. Which sounds distinct from purrs of happiness. Can you tell the difference? Purring may be a sign of distress. Purring doesn't always equal happiness. Sometimes cats purr when they are afraid, such as during a veterinary visit. This might be a throwback to when kittens purred to solicit help or care from their mother. Likewise, purring may be your cat's way to say that she is in distress and needs some help. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. They are hungry or want something. Some cats purr when it's mealtime. British researchers studied the sounds that house cats make when they're hungry and when food isn't on their minds. The purrs don't sound the same. When cats purr for food, they combine their normal purr with an unpleasant cry or mew, a bit like a human baby's cry. Experts believe that we're more likely to respond to this sound. They found that people can tell the difference between the purrs, even if they aren't cat owners. Kitten Mother Connection Kittens can purr when they're only a few days old. It's probably a way to let their mothers know where they are or that they're okay. Purring also helps a kitten bond with its mother. Mama cats use it as a lullaby. They are happy. Your cat looks relaxed, perhaps they are on their back, eyes half closed, tail mostly still. If they are purring, it's safe to assume they are in their happy place. That noise is a big smile. Purring can promote healing. Cats can lower our stress and blood pressure, but purring is also about self-healing. A cat may purr to heal herself. Cats purr at frequencies between 25 and 150 Hz and exhibit strong purring between 25 and 50 Hz. Interestingly enough, these frequencies also correspond with the frequencies used in the treatment of fractures and pain. These frequencies may also assist in muscle growth, flexibility, and wound healing. So your cat may be purring to heal herself. When your cat purrs, the best thing to do is pay attention. Note the context, his body language, the tone of the purr, and what he does in response to your reaction. When he purrs, try different things. If you pet him, does he settle down and go to sleep? 
If so, he wanted you to pet him. Does he move away from you? If so, he may need food or want to play. Getting to know your cat by watching and listening to his signals helps you bond with each other and deepens your kitty love. Research Study A 2009 study found that cats can conceal a cry within their purr that triggers a nurturing instinct in their owners, similar to the cries of a human baby. The study observed that when purring to solicit food, the noise cats made was more urgent and less pleasant, suggesting they can manipulate their purrs to communicate different things. According to New Scientist readers, cats will also adapt noises like their meow to elicit a response from their owners. This means that if a cat were to have a deaf owner, it is likely they would meow less once they learned it did not trigger a response. However, the same cat would probably continue to purr, without changing the frequency of the sound. Research into feline behavior has lagged behind that of dogs, but a 1991 study concluded that purring emanates from the cat's voice box or larynx. When cats breathe, they dilate and constrict the glottis, the area around their vocal cords, in a rapid, rhythmic fashion. As the air vibrates over the laryngeal muscles of their larynx, the purring sound occurs. But why do they purr after a stressful event? A 2001 study published in the Journal of the Acoustical Society of America showed that domestic cats and some species of big cats, including pumas and cheetahs, could purr at frequencies optimal for pain relief and even bone repair. So how can you tell why your cat is purring? Your best chance of understanding them is to look at their body language and the context. If they're purring first thing in the morning, they may be asking to be fed. If you've just returned from a day at work, they might be saying hello and if they are sitting on your lap, purring contentedly, they might just be signaling their approval. Typically all domestic cats purr, as well as some other, big, cats in the Felidae family, such as bobcats, cheetahs, and puma. Lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards don't purr. This is due to a difference in the bone structure in their vocal cords. A softer bone allows them to make the roar sound, whereas purring cats feature a hard bone which makes purring vibrations possible. Besides cats, animals in the lesser known Viveridae family also purr. Sometimes, your cat might be lying on your lap, purring dreamily one moment and suddenly bite you the next. What does this mean? Perhaps your feline friend was feeling unwell to begin with and your casual petting rubbed them the wrong way. Or perhaps, your kitty just gave you a love bite, a sign of affection. Biting could also be a sign of aggression in cats, so be careful to observe what your cat likes or does not like and leave them space to avoid being bitten further. Cats will generally let you know what they want. The best rule of thumb is, let your cat come to you for cuddles, and respect them when their body language says no. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.